Hi everybody, welcome back. We're doing VR tutorials and in this tutorial we are going to learn how to, uh, I guess, extrapolate uh, our code into two separate codes so that way uh, we can split our timer away from any actual code. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. In our last video, we made it so that you can use the timer to pick up an object, okay? And that's all fine and dandy, but what if I want to use that timer for something else? And I can definitely tell you that when we get into our next video on how to drop the ball, I, we will definitely be wanting to reuse that timer again, and I guarantee you we will not want to have to retype it all. So, uh, what we want to do is just go ahead and come in here. Now, this Descendify script, it's, it's a Frankenstein, Frankenstein monstrosity. Uh, but we are going to rename it to Radio Gaze Timer. Okay. And go ahead and open that up. Do, 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 do. All right. And we need to rename it here because that is not the class that is uh, being used. Radio Gaze Timer. All right. And then show potential fixes. Hover over it, hit show potential fixes, and rename Descendify to Radial Gaze Timer. Excellent. Go ahead and save that. Come back here. Test it out. You always got to test things. It's just, just a good idea. Okay, so that still works. All right, good. Now, obviously that didn't do anything <laughs> uh, other than... Uh, change the name of the script, which is fine. You know, we do want to change the name of the script. However, if you look at this script, here, let me zoom out a little bit, or where's the zoom out button? Uh, who cares? Um, there we go, that works. So most of this script here is the, the timer, the radial gaze timer. It starts here and uh, continues all the way down to here. And the only real bit of code that we keep changing is this line right here. Now, I don't know about you, but I would really not have to write all of this just to be able to do this. So, we are going to split the code. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump back over here and start with uh, creating a new c -sharp script. And we are going to call this um, Holden. Okay, because it's just just for holding the ball. All right, open that up. All right, and let's take a look and see what we are wanting to pull over. So we want this public transform my hand and this public rigid body the ball because obviously that's what we uh, that's what we're here for. <laughs> so public transform uh, my hand and then public, oops, public rigid body, the ball, okay? And we don't need an update function, so get rid of that. We will need this start function. Uh, and what we are going to do is we are going to change the parent of the ball to the hand. So if you look down here, the ball transform parent equals my hand transform. Okay, so the ball dot transform dot parent equals my hand dot transform. Okay, save. All right, that's good. That's exactly what we want to see. We want to make sure that we don't have an extra <laughs> an extra curly brace there for no reason. All right, hit save and that should be good for here. Now we can go ahead and delete that and delete that. All right, so now we just have a nice clean code that just does the timer. Now, I hear what you're saying. How are we going to activate this? Are we gonna use a trigger event? And the answer is no, no, we are not. <laughs> Let's come over here and create a new variable. We want to do this and uh, we're going to call it uh, public game object and 
the stuff to do. Excellent. Now we're going to go down here. We're going to change the name of the subroutine to do stuff because that's what we want it to do. We want it to do stuff. Do stuff. Okay. And save. All right. Before we get into this part right here, we are going to need a game object to hold this holding script. So let's come over here and create a new empty object. Doodle do game object. Rename that to uh, Holden Script Butler. Because this game object's only job is to hold and to be inactive when we start. So okay, so now we have now we have this Holden script out here. Let's go ahead and connect the dots. Um, we are going to just drag the GVR reticle pointer right in there because that's, you know, we just attach it to that. So we attached it to the transform of my hand. My hand is the GVR reticle pointer. Oh, very good. All right, now the ball is obviously Pepito. So we're going to drag Pepito into the rigid body. All right, now, because we are not simply turning a script on, we're actually turning on a, a real element, uh, we are going to use uh, what's known as uh, set active. So, uh, the stuff to do, the stuff to do, okay, and that stuff to do, let's see, the stuff to do dot set active. There we go. And true. All right. And semicolon. Save. All right. So we have the, the stuff to do set active true, but now we need to put something in the stuff to do. All right. So if we look at our radial gaze timer here, we see that all of the other variables have disappe disappeared except for radial progress, which is still that image, which is great. But now the stuff to do is going to be a game object which holds a script. So there we go. Boom. Holden script butler. All right. Go ahead and hit save. And let's go ahead and test this out. Cross your fingers. Yay, it works. <laughs> Excellent. All right. That's pretty much it. So now you have two separate scripts. Okay, you have one script here, which is just the radial gaze timer, and uh, so uh, now you can use this as many times as you want. Uh, you know, you just drag any, any object that needs a timer, you just drag the radial gaze timer to it, uh, and then you just change out the stuff to do, okay? And then that way you'll never have to repeat this code. <laughs> over and over and over again. Okay, so I guess that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am really looking forward to the making the next video, uh, how to drop a ball. Yes, it's uh, slightly more complicated than one would think. It, I mean, it's not incredibly complicated, but uh, doing it right is uh, requires uh, a little bit of forethought. And, and some logic. So uh, stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys on the next episode.